Welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate domain proximity refinement, uh, which can help improve the quality of a volume grid in a scenario where you have two different domains that come very close to each other, and those domains are of very different refinement levels. On screen, you'll notice I've got two blocks, uh, and the blocks are a certain refinement level. Then within those blocks, we have spheres, and as you can see, the refinement level on those spheres is, is far more refined than the block. Uh, and if we were to initialize these blocks as they are, uh, you can imagine that there will be some pretty skewed uh, cells that, that reside between that sphere and the edge of the block, simply because it's got to get from one refinement level to another. Uh, now that, of course, is without domain refinement. And, and again, I've already gone ahead and initialized both of these blocks, and we'll get into how I actually execute the domain refinement in just a moment, but I wanted to review the results uh, to give you an idea of kind of improvement in quality. So if we look at this block, and this block is... Uh, initialized without refinement, as you can see here. But we'll go ahead and look at this block, examine. And you can see that the maximum angle is 171. Let's add a cut here, and then you can get a better sense for the quality of the cells that are kind of in between the sphere and the edge of the block. Not exactly what you would want uh, as an end result for your volume grid. Now, if we take a look at uh, at the block that has uh, has been allowed to uh, adapt the, the adjacent domain, uh, or the sphere has been allowed to adapt the adjacent domain, we'll take a look and examine the, the maximum included angle here. Did you notice the bell curve has been shifted down? More higher quality elements. Uh, and if we go ahead and add a cut here, we can get an idea for what that looks like. And you'll notice that the elements in between the sphere and the edge of the wall are much better quality than uh, the block that uh, didn't have any kind of domain adaption. So to do that, we'll select the block that we're looking to uh, add this particular uh, technique to. So we go to Grid, Solve, and we go to Boundary Conditions. The first thing we want to do is we want to add a boundary condition uh, for a wall to allow it, or a domain to allow it to adapt. So I've selected this uh, domain, and you can see here that it's been put in an, uh, a boundary condition that I've titled Adapt. You want to make sure and turn uh, or toggle the Adapt feature on or adapt uh, attribute on uh, and then we'll go to the size field and here is where you'll actually if you choose or expand grid uh, you can select the grid entities that you want to allow or are they're essentially going to be the genesis of the domain adaption uh, and i've selected the domains that make up the sphere and allowed them again to adapt the wall and that's the result that you get from that adaption if you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line below or connect with us via Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.